Welcome to the Billiard Network, the home of Global Pool on YouTube. Like and follow if you enjoy this. Our match today is Joshua Filler from Germany versus Kasper Mantekainen from Finland. Playing eight ball, race to eight. Alternate break. I don't know a lot about uh, Matt DeCanon's game, but I know more about fillers than his. I didn't see who won the lag exactly. Matt DeCanon won the lag. Guess he's gonna break. I'm Earl Strickland for the Billiard Network. We'll usually break from the middle in eight ball because you want to scatter the, the pool balls around more so you can get a chance to run out. He's breaking pretty center, just a little bit off the diamond. Probably hit with below center with no spin, not too much spin. Good break. You got a kiss on the 11 ball, kissed it right in the corner. Nothing was going until that. That happened, but I think they're playing open table, maybe. I don't know the rule on that exactly. I'll find out as I go. Yeah, he can shoot the little ones. He's looking at it, so. He could roll the 12 in the corner or the side. And still, either either ones he takes is very doable, looks like to me. The this, this solid or the stripes. He's going to shoot the ball on the side, the 12 or whatever that is. It's a little blurry, I can't tell. The 13, the 13 ball thing, he's going to shoot and stop right there. Or stun it forward. Or roll it. Stop. Now he's got the 12 in the side. And then he'll play the 10 in the corner. See, you never know what... Uh, you could play a, uh, a lot of different ways for the first shot. He'll just roll this in and bounce off, play the 10 next in the corner. Then he'll play stop and play the 9 in the side. Stop, play the nine on the side. This is where it gets tricky. He might play the 14 after the nine, I don't know exactly. He'll just stop right there or draw back, draw back. Well, I said that. He'll just stop right there and take a little tougher shot on the 15 and just roll it around and play the 8 down in the corner. That was a good way to play it, way, the way he played it. I'm not sure I would have played it like that. But like I said before, an 8 ball, you have a lot of different options. He could draw this to the bottom rail too and come back off or just roll it in real slow. Just roll it in real slow and take the longer shot. His pockets must not be too tough. He's, he wasn't scared to take this long shot. If the pockets were tougher, he would have drawn into the bottom rail and came back, got closer to it. He could probably hit up by the diamond and still make this. He hit it clean, so it doesn't matter with the open hand snooker bridge. All right, one nothing. Manikainen, filler breaks. And it looks pretty good. Nothing is... Uh, no pool balls are together. Here's another situation where both look very good. There's a lot of different shots. The four inside, the 11 in the corner are the most prudent, and the 13 back down there where he is. He's going to take the four in the side and roll up. I haven't commentated a lot of eight balls, so and he'll just draw back. 
or stop and go forward. Stunned it. Oh, this roll up, roll forward a little and get the one, or the five, or the six. He plays a wild style. I see what he's doing now. He's going to play the six, then the three. He's going to draw back. He likes drawing, too, and not using the rails and stuff. And he'll follow one rail. Now he went two. Wouldn't matter either way. He's, it's perfect here. Now he'll play the five and the one in the same corner and the eight in the side. Which was a good way to play it. Not, there's so many different ways to play these outs, but always kind of the right one. He plays kind of the way I do. I play a loose style a little bit sometimes. Stop right there on the eight. One nothing, I mean, one apiece. Matacane in the break, same position, a little bit off center, just below center on the cue ball probably, or a little bit lower, no spin. Try to hit them real square like that. Ooh, he got a bad roll there. That ball tried to go in twice, didn't go in. Now this is interesting. He'll have to take the big ones probably if he wants to get out. Because he'll shoot the 15 to break the 8 out. He's going to bank this ball. Looks like he was going to bank it. Or he's going to cut it in real slow. Oh. I don't know that I like that shot. That was. He's such a good shooter, though, it doesn't matter. He... And he'll roll it. He needs to stop or stun it and, yeah, stun it like that. The eight ball goes, I think, so he doesn't have to break it out. So there's no problem, really. He'll just draw straight back, get on the 12 or the 14. Straight back down the table. He didn't hit that one very well, though. He didn't get any acceleration on the ball. He might have snookered himself on the line. He'll have to cut the ball on the side, the 14, if he snookered or, or take a tough cut on the 12. He's going to cut the ball on the side, probably. But it might run into the, the 11. That's the 12 ball. The 11 ball's over here. It shows me that angle. I can tell which ones are which. Yeah, I can see now it's pink and red. Yeah, he's just 14 on the side, I told you. He doesn't like that 12 in the corner. That was a hard shot. He might play safe here. It's the right shot. The right shot is just to thin the one and freeze him behind the eight in the... Because he can't get out. Literally. I mean, he could, but it ain't likely. I don't know what he's looking at. There's not but one shot. Bump the one to the side rail with a little bit of left top and go behind the eight and the seven. Well, he could draw over on the six and get on the one. That's not impossible right there. Or try to break it up. I don't think he's going to break it up. Or get on the three and break it up. I still think the safe was the best shot here. Yeah, this shot right here is kind of real tricky. Uh, He's got to hit this real good. The right middle one hit it hard. Yeah. I guarantee you the safe was the, the, the first shot I told you to shoot was the correct shot. And now he's going to lose the game, possibly. That 14 sitting there like that, it's hard for him to play safe. He's got to go ahead and try to run out now. And I don't know how he's going to break the seven ball up. That's the thing about eight ball, once you commit yourself, uh, it's 
pretty much curtains if you don't finish the rack. It's a great game, eight ball. It really is. It's a lot like straight pull to me, but a little easier. It's still a hard game, though. I don't know what he's looking at. He needs to, like... do something, because really, there's really not much you can do. The seven's got him. Oh, he could play the one off the eight. I haven't been looking around much. I didn't look for that. That's the right shot. So if he can get Actually, it's a perfect shot. If he plays it correctly, it'll knock the seven ball over to the pocket if he can get on the eight, the one ball correctly. He needs to draw back and get an angle going towards the one. That's hard to do on that four ball. The four ball's got him a little bit too because he can't get over on the one like he wants to. He needs to try to play the one off the eight after he shoots the five ball. Roll it two rails with left top, like that. He didn't hit it hard enough though. Now it's gonna make the shot a little bit harder. He's gotta play the one into the rail. If he would've got dead straight on it into the rail, it would've been a lot easier shot. Now he could really butcher it because it's not, he's gotta cut it and judge He won't shoot it as hard now because he'll leave it for the seven. The four might go past the 14, I can't tell. This is not impossible for him to get out from here the way I see it now. But he's got to hit this good. He's got to hit it into the rail and off the eight ball. See him aiming towards the rail with that one ball. You need to just hit it with a little bit of left bottom don't and draw it a little. Don't overhit it. Oh, he knocked the eight ball in. Rats. I guess that could happen too. <laughs> Two one filler leads. Breaking from the left center. He's breaking with an open hand bridge and making a ball. Make wow. That's crazy. Again, they're laying pretty good either side. He's gonna take the big ones because the six is disturbed by the 10 down there. Probably shoot the 12 on the side for the first shot. Or try to roll the 11 ball in. He's gonna take the little ones. He figures he can bust out the six somehow, or shoot the two in behind the 10. That's probably what he's wanting, he's gonna do, get on it where he can shoot the, uh, he's gonna do it, he's gonna do that right here. See how he's getting on it? Well, this was dangerous. Still a dangerous way to, to play it, I thought. He's still gotta hit this good. Kinda. He'll play it right behind it. It's like that. Good shot. Laptop, just roll it. Right top of him. Just roll it in. He'll probably just draw it a little. It doesn't have to go to the rail. Very good. That's funny. Every time I say they won't do it, they will. Quit saying that. Just roll it in. Watch him draw it. No. <laughs> Three one filler leagues. Little mini break. Matacanin's breaking from the same spot, a little bit off center. Not too much spin. Low on the ball. He's got one in. This table's breaking. Well, it's finally a ball tied up, the eight and the nine. So 
but there's a little work there. He sees that. He can't take the big ones because the tin ball's tied up. I don't have much time to run my mouth in, when I'm doing eight ball. It's, it's a lot harder. <laughs> but uh, he's got to take the little ones. I would, he could shoot the three ball and run into the... I, he could, he's going to shoot the 11 ball. No, that ain't no good. He can't take the big ones. He just can't. I think he should shoot the one ball in and then go one rail with the two ball and hit the eight. He, he doesn't play straight pull now. He doesn't see that shot. But he's going to try to hit the eight now with the seven ball. That ain't a bad play. This is a good shot, too. Good shot. He, he could have not got a shot there, but he, he came out all right. He hit it good. He should put a lot of left on this and run into the ten ball or come back down for the four with a lot of right. We'll play slow for the three in the side. Good shot. He put a lot of right on it and came down the table. Ooh. That's tricky. But he's all right. All he's got to do is make it. The three ball's going to save him. He made a good shot on the seven coming across and hitting the eight. It's real slow. Just to make it come across. He rolled too far, really. No, he's got a little angle. He's all right. He'll put right bottom to stun over for the two ball. Put some right on it. Just stun over like that. Big game. He needs this game. After... Going down 3-1. He'll shoot this real slow and just bounce off a little bit and hit the other ball. That was risky right there. I guess sometimes it looks like they don't have to do that, but maybe they do. And he'll stun this a little and go to the rail. He'll use two rails. He'll stun it a little so it doesn't slide and come up short. Hit that nice. He'll stun it with right middle or draw. He's drawing it to the side rail with a lot of bottom. Like that. Good shot. Nice out. Nice shot on the first shot. Filler broke. He just weasels one in every time. He doesn't even hit him hard, but he gets one in. I don't know how he can get one in every time. He's pretty fortunate with that. I'll tell you that. I break, I could break 30, 40 times in a row and not make nothing. And he didn't really hit those though that good. That, that ball, one ball just weaseled in the side. Well, act like he hit him like the greatest break in the world. He's got a tough decision here though. He doesn't have all the best shots in the world. The three and the eight's bothering him and taking the low. Uh, he doesn't have an easy shot. He's going to have to shoot the 14 in the corner. He'll hit it with a lot of right and kill it, right bottom, and come across. It came across like that. Yeah, he could play right down to the ball on the side and then shoot the 8 in the corner or get out and shoot it in the side somehow. The 8 goes in the side too, so... He's going to shoot the 13. He's going to jack up and draw it or roll the 11 ball in. He wants to shoot the 11. No, he's going to jack up and shoot the 13 like I, started, I said the first time. He's hit that pretty good. He got on the 12. Eight doesn't go on the side, looks like, from here. That's an illusion, though. He could play down to the eight, the 12 in the corner here and then shoot the eight right in the corner. He's gonna roll this in, get on the nine down on the bottom row. No, he's gonna play the 12. I guess the eight goes in the side. He's gonna draw over for the 12 on the side or the corner.
He's going to try to bump the eight ball and get on the 11. Let's see what he's doing now. She's going to shoot the 12 in the side. This is risky. And he's got to draw it just a little with right and just tap it and just bump the eight. I don't think he, I guess he bumped it just enough to make it, but yeah, he doesn't have an angle to get over there. He can't make it if he just stops. If they let him make that, as a, he might have to draw back somehow. Oh, he did still know, right? I didn't think he could get over there, but he did. He's all right now. He'll put a lot of left bottom on it and just stop it. It was risky. Bumping into that ball, but good shot. Filler leads 4-2. Matikainen breaking from the same position. Just slightly off the middle of diamond. Remember, it's always best to break eight ball from the middle of the table, unless you're on a bar table where they break from the sides. I still break from the middle on the bar table. There's a good example. Fillers is hitting them literally with his purse, and he's getting one every time. And this guy hit them pretty good and didn't get one. That's the way I break right there. They look good when I break them, but nothing ever goes in. <laughs> Here again, he could take either one, but the easiest shot he's got is the three in the corner, the five in the side. And I think the easier ones are the little ones. He'll take the three in the corner because he wants to get rid of it. And he's going to take the five in the side. Come back for the two. He's going to take the seven, draw down for the one. I said there's a lot of ways to play these patterns, but there's always a, an easier way. Of course, you can get out a, a lot of different ways, but there's an easier way. It's going to roll up for the six in the side. He might go down and get the two now. I don't know. He's got to get the two. He plays some risky shots, I'll tell you that. He's either going to stop it or follow it a little. He followed it. Now he's going to go one rail and come between the eight, the nine and the four. Like that. Now we'll just draw back and play the eight on our right. We under hit that, it didn't draw. That's what my stick does a lot. A little bit of left top, eight ball in the corner. Good shot. Five, two, filler leads. See there again, he, he didn't hit on that good. He, ball went straight in. He gets one every time. In the side. They shouldn't, the side ball shouldn't count. That's what they should play. Make one on the side, don't count. Just like corner ball and nine ball. All right, one, the little ones look good. Let's roll this in or go back and forth or try to break the one out. Hmm, that was a gutsy shot right there. Hit that well. Roll it in. Straight ball, come down on a three. Or he might have to draw. He might draw out. I could roll it. She did the pocket. He'll stun off the rail with left middle or just draw back to get on the five or play the five and then use the rail to come down with the three. Oh, he's going to play the three last and then the eight. Nope. See, there's, there's a lot of different ways to play it. He's just going to stop or draw back a little bit. 
I like playing the three and coming down. I've played these kind of shots a lot. You, you screw up more if you played it the other way. That's for sure. He still screwed up because he left himself on top of that, those. He'll put a lot of left. He doesn't want to do that. I'll just roll it in real easy. Just bounce off. Good shot. Now he'll stun it two rails or just roll it straight down the table. Stunned it a little bit with spin. You let the spin do the work there. You see that for you amateurs out there and all you avid players. Let the spin do the work. Eight ball on the side, left top. Six two lead. Medicane and breaking. Same spot. Eight ball is a great game, but they're playing it wrong. You got to play uh, take what you make. That's the only way to play eight ball. There ain't no other way to play it. So, this is an amateur way of playing eight ball. Real amateur. These are no, uh, there's no uh, guessing what he's going to do here. He's going to take the big ones. Even though he's got good shots on the little ones. All, the big ones are all set up perfect. He'll just roll this in real slow and just bump the 11 or play the 11 and go three rails. I tell you, I didn't like that shot. That was a bizarre shot. He must have been trying to get on the 12 over there immediately by the seven ball. That's why he shot that. I think he was trying to get on it. And that's the way you, you, you want to play ball. You got to be a little bit aggressive at times, and uh, you got to take a weird shot over an easy shot a lot of times because you got to clear a ball up, clear one of the pool balls up like that 12 ball. It's kind of a, in a funny spot. He's going to roll this in real slow, bump the three ball. See the 12 balls bothering him. He needs to get on it right here. He needs to stun this ball with left, just below center with left, and come between the six and the eight. He's probably not gonna do it, but. He's played it different than I would, kinda. I would, uh. He's gonna take this long, weird shot on. Well, it's not too bad if the table's dry. Maybe he can draw off or follow two rails. I don't know what he's gonna do, draw off. See, that shot doesn't move right. I don't like that shot. <laughs> He's all right, though. Like I said, you can play it a lot of different ways. It's not a bad way to play it. Right bottom. He's all right there. Good shot. Right bottom on this. Just touch, draw back a little bit. And then left bottom on this one. And you want to hit this one firm and go to the rail or stay in the middle of the table. You either go to the rail like that. Always shoot that ball like that when it's sitting like that for your amateur zone. Six three filler leads. Filler's breaking from the middle again. There he goes. Made the same ball again. Huh. Why is it going in for him but it won't go in for nobody else? That's what happens when I play these guys. They'll make They'll make a lot of pool balls on the break, and I don't make any. I still say you got to make the player play against himself. Is he going to play all oh, the seven or the two? Oh, he's playing some kind of combination. Here to go with that overhead camera again. I can't see nothing with that. He must have been listening to me. He's going to roll the one in nice and easy. Roll the seven in and stay there for the three. Wow, he plays really careless position. He's really fortunate in spots. The way he plays, lets the ball. He doesn't. He doesn't really think. Doesn't look like to me. He's got to fire this one somehow. He's got to. Yeah, he's all right. 
roll this in and bump the seven, the 11 ball. He didn't hit that very well either. Straight pull. I wonder how a straight pull game would be a little crazy. He shoots straight, but in straight pull, there's things that can get him, I'll tell you that, if he don't pay attention. Even though he is a good shooter, and you have to be a good shooter in straight pull. Seven to three. Matacane and breaking from the middle again. There's got to be another way to play pull. This still isn't competitive enough. You've got to make the player play against himself. I'll say it till I'm in the grave. And until that, until we play where the player's playing against himself, it's not competitive to me. One player gets all the rolls, gets all the right shots, you look like an idiot. It's kind of like this match here. But he's played all right, but everything's went his way. Seven ball in the corner, a little bit of right bottom. Three and the four is problem. I think he can get it now, the three. Yep. Put the player on a clock, playing straight pull or placement pull. Make them play against themselves. That's, you know, that's the way golf is. Why do you think golf is such a great game? Because the player is playing against himself. He's not playing against anyone. That's what's wrong with pool. We don't like each other because we keep getting lucky on each other. And it pisses you off. Then you don't like the guy. You don't like, no, you don't like pool players when they get lucky on you. Get every roll. But if you're playing for yourself, then when you play bad shots and miss and snooker, it, it costs you a shot. It not cost the other guy nothing. That's the way golf is. This is all luck. Everything I ever did in pool was luck. Play me straight pull with a 20 second shot clock. Offensive straight pull. 20 seconds to shoot with tough pockets. You'll fill me then, I'll tell you that. This is like watching grass grow at times. Like right now. Of course, it happens in straight pull too. You have these moments where you don't know what to do. But if the balls are open, the pool balls are open, I'm shooting. Left bottom or just roll it in. He's stunned back for the one ball. I don't know what he's doing, really, there. I thought he'd just roll up, shoot the six in, draw off, spin around two rails, get on the five, bump the nine, and play the eight in the corner. I mean, the side. He's trying to mess this up. But he still can't mess it up because the this just lands right on the rail, and it didn't. It's the only chance that guy had. Well, he had a little bit. Oh, he's still okay. He'll just shoot the six in. He's going to try to land like that. Wow. And he did it. Good shot. That was risky. <laughs> I still say that there's a way to make everybody dog it, though. Filler wins 8-3 to three over Matacanan. Thanks for watching the Billiard Network, the home of Global Pool on YouTube. Stay tuned for more great pool action from around the world. I'm Earl Strickland saying goodbye.